So it's a pretty busy day in the tool world. We got two releases from two different companies, even though they're under the same umbrella. You got Milwaukee IA, which is this video. And then later today, you get subscribed, hit the bell notification because we got a big release from Ryobi, not Ryobi coming out today, which these two companies, let me tell you something. If you're in these two brands, the, the Ryobi and Milwaukee IA, you're loving life because they're constantly coming out with new tools pretty much on a weekly basis, multiple times a week, which is really, really impressive. And you don't see that pretty much from any other tool company on the market today. So let's get into the Milwaukee IA and see what they got coming out with. And then again, later today, we'll have the Ryobi, not Ryobi. But what do we got right here? Now, before I tell you what it is, I'm curious. Do you know what it is? Leave me a comment in the comment section. What is this? Just by looking at this picture, can you guess it right? Three, two, one. Okay, your comments left. All right, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, it's a new propane heater, which I know what you're thinking. It's summertime. It's going to be 90 degrees out. Actually, it's it's like it's not even summer yet. It's like late spring. It's going into summer. And you're thinking, why am I thinking about this? Because when it gets cold, it gets cold. In Ohio, it gets cold. I don't like the weather. So this right here is real nice. Like. Now, I do have all the specs on this. But let me show you the pictures before I forget to do it. And this is just a little torpedo heater. It's really nice. It's really portable. It's going to hook up to your little gas grill propane tank. What are they, like five pounds or five gallons or whatever they are? I, I don't know. I usually know that. It's too early in the morning for me. But the other thing that's cool about this is not only will this plug in, you're going to be able to run your bat rays on it. So it's completely portable. And I like that today. This, let me tell you something. I'm right now surprised. This is the first time I've seen this picture. I'm surprised Milwaukee IA did this because they're eliminating plugs altogether. I don't want to get anybody in trouble in the engineering department, but I'm happy they did this. I am happy that they added the plug option, the cord option, because a lot of the times if your bat ray runs out, say you only have one or two, which I'm sure a lot of you have more than that. You want that plug option, especially with something like this. So thank you a Milwaukee IA for adding that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, we know that your, their batteries are fantastic, you know, but there's nothing wrong with adding that, that cord option. And I think a lot of people, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, are you happy that they added the cord option? You don't see that a lot. So you're just going to be able to hook this up to your propane tank. You're going to carry this thing around. Let me show you a couple more pictures right here. And it's the same thing. Um, you're going to have different adjustments on here, which I would imagine you would. It looks like an easy on and off what the lightning is we'll, we'll talk about that there's specs we got all that so you got your power on and off right there what is that lightning button uh some cool pictures it's, it's pretty nice so you can run the bat ray right there okay so you got the pictures let's take a look at the specs and see what they're saying maybe we can figure out what that that lightning button is all right so here's the specs and this is going to go from 30,000 btu on low up to 70,000 btu and it's saying right here, 70,000 BTU forced air propane heater. This propane heater offers users the fastest setup with all day maximum heat. Now, they're not the only ones that's ever had that rigid. I use the rigid one all the time. It's a very good heater. Um, so I'd imagine this is probably pretty good. And believe it or not, here's what I love about the propane. It's very clean. You don't get that diesel smell. I got the diesel heater. It leaves that smell. You shut it off. The diesel smell goes everywhere. These right here are very, very clean. The only problem is it has a little bit of moisture in the air. Moist. That's what I'll tell you. The propane heaters, they will leave moisture in the air. So if it's really cold, you're going to get that condensation. I use that big word right there. Smash that like button. I'll use more big words if you smash that like button. Um, but that's the only issue I have with the propane. Uh, so you got the British Thermal Unit, BTU. Uh, ideal for heating well, ventilated small and mid-sized spaces. Variable temperature dial for output control and a forced air fan that allows users optimal heat in cold weather conditions. So I'm guessing that's what that lightning button is. Is it a turbo? Could it be a turbo? When paired with the Milwaukee M18 5.0 bat rate, the cordless forced air propane heater delivers over eight hours of runtime. That, that's real nice like. I believe I get like maybe four or five. I could be wrong. I think it's like four or five hours with the rigid. With a 5.0 battery, so if you're putting like a 12.0 bat rate, you're getting multiple, multiple hours of runtime. AC, DC, versatility, and a compact ergonomic design, which I'm, I'm guessing they got the height down here. Yeah, width, length, the weight's only 14 and a half pounds, which they're so easy to move around. That's what I really like about these. I'm glad to see Milwaukee IA's coming out with them. 
um, but an easy to follow startup process and straightforward. So usually what happens is you just turn these things on and you're gonna hit the button, you're gonna hear click, 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 and it's gonna push that thing out and it's just gonna light automatically. The fan's gonna kick on first and then you're gonna, you're gonna get that heat out of there. So all in all, real nice like. So when you're limited to warranty, well, I would've liked to have seen at least three um, because the rigid propane, which I did have to use, has a lifetime warranty, I believe, and I did use that one time. Um, I would have liked to have seen at least a three-year warranty uh, onboard hose wrap-up. So you're going to get everything you need, the AC power, you know, all that good stuff. It, it's 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 really good to see that they added that cord. But I want to know what you think. If you're in the shops and it's cold, I know you're not thinking about that right now. Winter's always here. It always feels like it's either here or on its way. Even in the summertime, I feel like, okay, I got to prepare for winter. I don't understand it. But these are awesome to have and very portable around the job site, in the garage, in the shop. Just make sure you use them safely. And the MSRP, you're looking at $229. And I would imagine that's tool only. So still not that bad for the amount of use you're probably going to put this thing through during those colder months. So I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Look for that next video soon today for Ryobi, not Ryobi. We'll be back more videos soon.